Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to once again be hosting Thriftmas in July. This is a collaboration I put on each summer where I invite other YouTubers while they are out yard sailing and going thrifting to see what they can find for Christmas decor to pick up because this is really the best time of year to get your Christmas decor items. I am also a full-time reseller. I like to resell vintage items and vintage Christmas is a tricky one for me because I also really like to collect vintage items, especially vintage Christmas. So we'll see how I do with letting some of this stuff go. But a lot of these items will end up in my Etsy store, Happy Vintage Haven. So if you guys are interested in anything, definitely check that out. I'll probably be posting them probably around the beginning of August, just to give it you know, enough time, a little bit closer to Christmas so people actually would be interested in purchasing them. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what I found. So I believe these are actually the first items I came across so far in the yard sailing season. I got these at a Christian school rummage sale and these are vintage Lefton salt and pepper shakers. I paid a quarter a piece for them. The Santa does have a little bit of paint wear coming off, but I just really like that actually on vintage pieces. It kind of just gives it a little bit more character, I think. And you can see the vintage left in sticker on the bottom there. So yeah, they're really adorable. I am a huge fan of collecting vintage Santas, so likely might be keeping these, but we'll end up seeing what I do. And then I found another Santa and Mrs. Claus here. These are bone china. And they actually have little hooks on the top so you can use them as ornaments. I don't remember exactly where I picked these up where they don't have price tags. I believe it was at one of the rummage sales where you can just throw stuff in a bag and give them a price at the end. So I probably paid about 10 cents a piece for these, I'd wanna say. And I really, really do like these. I've been going to a lot of town-wide yard sales these last few weeks and it's gonna take me a while to catch up on all the haul videos that I have received from that. So you might see these in future yard sale along with me. So just keep that in mind if you see it in the future. But this one I found at a community sale a couple weekends ago. And this is just a cute little home co elf reading a book. I just thought it was super cute and I only paid a quarter for him. So like I said, I do collect vintage Christmas, but the one thing that is easier for me to let go of is snowmen. It's not really my thing. So I do seek those out because it's easy for me to resell. <laughs> I don't have to battle with myself about keeping it or not. The first one I found was this really cute snowman here. It was 50 cents. It's actually a napkin holder and it has a little bit of wear on it. So, you know, like I said, again, typical of age, just a little bit on the hat there and on the top part there. And I think it's in good condition overall. So this one will definitely be up on Etsy. And I did find another napkin holder. This one is one of the molds that you would have hand painted. And, you know, you can definitely tell it's hand painted just by the, you know, brush strokes and stuff, not as smooth as the other one. But it's a nice little female one. So I thought actually they would look kind of cute together. And I actually got this one at Goodwill and I paid 75 cents for it. Out of all the snowman items I picked up, this one here was definitely my favorite. It's kind of a cookie jar, I guess. It's a little bit on the smaller side, but it is a usable jar. And I thought it was really nice. I only paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. I have two more snowman items that I picked up to share with you. They're kind of similar. They actually would look cute together. And I believe I found them in different spots. So it was kind of interesting, but they are these hand painted ceramic pieces here, about the same size. This one cost me 50 cents and I thought this was really adorable. And it has this little candy cane on the back side of it. And it's just really, you know, cutesy. And the other one that I found is similar to that, but it's this one here and he's holding this log for some reason, but I thought he was really cute. And I liked his little overalls <laughs> that he was wearing. And this one was actually $3. But I thought it was worth it. I thought, you know, snowman's kind of hard for me to come across. So anytime I see cool vintage ones, I definitely pick them up for resale purposes. Definitely think they look really cute together as a set. So maybe someone will want to purchase both, but we'll see what ends up happening. So let's go ahead and hop right into the next batch of items I picked up. Now, this next set I picked up at Goodwill a couple of months ago. You guys might have seen them in a thrift along with me. And it's this cute little set of reindeer in a sleigh. I picked up five reindeer here and they did have additional reindeer, but they were chipped pretty badly. So I did not purchase those ones. 
They actually even had this really large, about this size mama deer that was painted the same exact way. That just seemed really odd to me, so I did not get that. It was kind of like a honey, I shrunk the kids thing. It just seemed very strange. Now, these were hand painted in 1985. It's like, you know, kind of one of those molds that you would have hand painted that was very popular back in the 70s and 80s. The sleigh I paid $1.50 for and the reindeer I paid 75 cents a piece for. And these will be going up in my Etsy store. So also at Goodwill, I found this really pretty bohemian crystal vase. This is put out by Teleflor Gifts. And I paid $3 for it. I really like on the front here the detailing of the holly and berries. And then it's trimmed out on the bottom in the traditional Christmas colors with some gold there. So I thought it was really gorgeous. And that also will be up for sale. This here is another Goodwill find. I paid $1.50 for it. It is a Queen's Anne teacup and saucer set in the Noel pattern. And it's super gorgeous. I was pretty stunned to find a nice little Christmas teacup set. Now, you guys notice the tape here that Goodwill does. If you ever come across this issue, because on the older pieces, just like this, there is gold trim on it. And if you just rip it off, you're going to tear off the gold on it and paint and whatever that is marked on. So what you want to do is actually fill up your sink with water, set this inside and let it soak for like 10 minutes or so. And then you just see if you can gently peel it up. It should come right off easily. So if it doesn't come off, you know, as you're peeling it, let it soak a little bit longer and that generally works. So definitely try that and don't just, you know, tear it off and ruin your piece. So just a little tip there. I did pick up one other coffee mug and this is a Rosina China piece here and it is a Queen's Santa is what they call the pattern. I thought it was really fun. I like the way the Santas go all the way around here. I only paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. The Santas look very German to me for some reason, but I really like this and it has lots of gold trim on the top as well as the handle. So I thought that was a really fun find. So at one of the town-wide yard sales, they had this huge lot of books under a tent and then also on the ground. Like I was looking through these for two hours. That's how many there was there. And I did pick up a ton of other books that will be in a future haul, but I found this one here and it's actually ephemera because there's actually no inside to it. Someone has ripped out the inside of the book and I believe they probably did that because they're probably gonna use it the same way I would use it and just set this you know out as decor for christmas with a nice little vintage image so i was happy to pick that up it essentially cost me nothing because they were selling the books for a huge box for fill a dollar so i would basically say i got it for free right and i was definitely happy to rescue that because i don't think most people would have picked it up but i'm definitely the type of person that likes to decorate with old stuff like this so i was happy to get that so this here is another one of my favorite finds I've picked up so far this summer. And this here is a jewel flask and it has this really nice metal cork in the top of it and it has lovely images all the way around. I paid $2.25 for this and I just really like it. I think you probably would have traditionally used it for maybe whiskey or something like that. But yeah, I'm on the fence whether I want to sell this or not. I really do enjoy it. I believe it looks older than it actually is. I actually believe this came out in around the 80s, but still a super cool find and I'd be more than happy to decorate with it in my home. This next item, when I was setting up my haul here on the table, my husband spotted it and he said, whoa, that's really cool. So you know it's a good item if a dude likes it for Christmas decor, right? <laughs> so what it is is this vintage Christmas light pole and it's just a nice little ceramic piece. When I first looked at it, I actually thought it was chipped on the bottom, but it's actually just a little divot where you would insert the electric cord because you can insert a light into it. There's, you know, a hole there on the top. And I thought that was a really fun find and I like that my husband liked it because he's really not the kind of guy that's into decor at all. So it was nice that he thought that was a cool piece. I paid 50 cents for this little vintage tin here. It does have a candle inside of it. I'm not using it for the candle. I just wanted the tin and it is made in Hong Kong. I really like Santa items. So this definitely was something that was gonna come home with me. So this was kind of a fun find. This was at a yard sale that was a donation kind of yard sale where you just kind of throw stuff in the bag and then give them a lump sum at the end. So I think I probably paid about maybe 10 to 25 cents a piece for these in the end. And they are little vintage Santa and various Christmas scene trivets 
they are footed and they originally had the metal thing on the back where you could hook it on the wall but all of the hooks have come off I find that those don't stay on very well. Most of the time when I find these vintage trivets, they're always missing. But these came out in 1982, and I'll show you all the images here. This one's Santa with the tree. And then we have the carolers here. And we got some elves partying on their rocking horse they made. <laughs> And then we just got a little family out on their one horse sleigh. So I think these are really fun and I probably will resell these, but I definitely was happy to pick those up. So I'm the type of person that's really drawn to tins, especially vintage tins. I really like the imagery on them. I found a couple and the first one I got is this 1992 Crayola tin. It has a lot of different Christmas scenery on it and I thought this would be a good thing to use for my Christmas craft items. I have a lot of little smaller things that I like to glue into pieces for decor so I thought that would be fun to just kind of help organize that. A nice little fun container and I believe I got this at a yard sale. I can't quite remember where I picked this up but I'm sure it was super inexpensive. And the other tin I picked up is this one here. And it's actually super cool because it's a Christmas card index. And I paid 50 cents for that at a yard sale. And it actually even has the alphabetized index cards here. So this is gonna be super useful because I have you know, a lot more people in my life that I have to send mail to customers and stuff these days. So I would like to keep their addresses so I can send them out Christmas cards and whatnot when you know the time is appropriate so i think this will be a fun way to organize addresses i haven't really had a huge need to have a bunch of addresses in the past so i never had anything like this so i will likely just you know start storing everything in here as far as that and super cool tin for sure so this here is another Goodwill item. I paid 75 cents for it. It's this nice little Santa here. And the thing that really piqued my interest about it is that it's actually a little trinket ring box. And I've never really seen those in seasonal decor. Usually they're just, you know, random decorative ones. So I thought that was kind of fun. I potentially will resell this one because I like the really older looking vintage Santas usually in my own collection, but I would still say this was probably from at least the 90s, so I think it's totally doable to put up on Etsy, and yeah, definitely a fun little piece. So last weekend I went to a town-wide yard sale, and they had a few Christmas items there. I found this Appleum cake tray in this holly berry pattern and it has it on the pedestal as well I only paid a quarter for this. I couldn't believe the price on it. So yeah, I got that that was a good find and I also got this little It's actually a candlestick and it's just this cute little vintage I guess she's a caroler and I believe I only paid 10 cents for her I, what is it? It's actually an Avon piece made in Hong Kong. I didn't realize it was Avon, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, I was happy to get that, very cute. So this next thing is one of those things that I looked at and I thought I probably personally wouldn't use it, but I knew someone would want it because it's definitely pretty cutesy and it appears to be homemade. It might not be homemade, but it definitely has the homemade look to it. And I believe what it is is a tree topper actually. It's this cute little angel here and you can uh, move the skirt up like this and I believe it will set on your tree like that on the top. So I thought it was really cute and I definitely think it's a fun little tree topper that not everyone would have. You know, you could have a little bit of originality to your tree, something a little different. It does have the like paper towel. It's a thicker, it's probably almost like a Christmas wrapping paper roll that is made in the center here. And I only paid $1.50 for her, so I thought it was worth the chance to take and see if anyone might want that for even just to decorate with or attempt it as a tree topper. I'm not sure if it will work, but I'm pretty sure that's probably what it was intended for. So I thought that was a really cool find. I found a few other handmade items. That's usually what I like to look for is either handmade or vintage Christmas. They kind of usually go hand in hand really, but it's a set of four little decor pieces here. And I believe what they did was took some kind of a towel, it's a kind of soft material, kind of glued that on, then they pa put these patches on it and then they put little frilly lace around it. They are on the embroidery rings and it's, you know, 
lined in the back so you don't have to worry about that if it spins or something. I don't know why it would, but this one here is probably my favorite because it is a little bit more of a vintage looking Santa. And then they had this one here with the candy canes on it. And this one is another Santa, which looks a little bit too modern for me. I like the other one a little bit better, so I'll probably resell that one. And this one has the Christmas bells on it, which I thought was really fun. So I believe I paid about 10 cents a piece for those. I can't quite remember, but I know it was at a yard sale. So my last item I'm sharing with you is my favorite item I've picked up so far this year. And if you saw my invite video for this collab, you probably already saw it, but it's this vintage Relpo Santa planter. It came with these florals already in it, good to go. I paid three bucks for him. And this is my style of Christmas decor. I like the vintage Christmas stuff. That's just my jam. <laughs> so I will not be reselling this guy. He is mine, but I was definitely so happy to find him. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the link below of all the other participants in this collab. I believe it was about 50 to 60 this year. And at least that's what I think. That's what, you know, all the people that said they were going to participate. So we'll see when it's all said and done, but there's definitely going to be plenty down there. I know there's a lot of people that have already said they got their videos going. So if you guys did participate, thank you guys so much for joining in on this collab. I definitely look forward to seeing what you picked up. I'll be over to check out your videos soon. And be sure to let me know below which item was your favorite that I picked up today. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, it helps my channel out and lets me know you guys enjoy this kind of content and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.